What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Um, subscriber die trying. You see the thumbnail. I can see it in your eyes. So, anybody who's been following me recently, I wound up, I got custody of my son. He's a teenager. So, you know, I take him out places and I get to watch from afar. And one thing I like to see is, you know, it's two times in my life where I've really seen the hatred in non-black people. One is when, you know, I'm walking, like, say with a black woman and we're having a great time and everybody can see that we're having a great time. She's normally oblivious to the hatred in people's eyes you know, predominantly, you know, uh, predominantly the guys of other races. And sometimes you get dirty looks from the women, but predominantly the guys, right? And the other time is what I'm about, what I'm talking about now, is when they see a, 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 a teenage boy. Because then you got grown men who are not black, who, who give the look like, this is my opportunity to kill him. I got a fear. You can see it in their face. You can see it in their eyes. You can see it. That's what they're thinking. And, you know, because I'm laying back, they don't recognize that their hatred is so blinding that they don't recognize that, you know, I'm his father because I'm not right, right there sometimes. Like I might be, you know, 20, 30 feet away and I can see it. And then I, and then I just get closer and then they see me looking at them. And then it's like, oh. and I'm like, nah, play boy. So, you know, and it ain't just teenage boys. So <clears throat> they, they're like this with our kids in general, but people are gonna say, no, it's not. So I have some neighbors, you know, um, cool neighbors. So I got some cool neighbors, you know, cool, black neighbors, cool white neighbors. Uh, but there's one in particular neighbor. I had my nieces over and they wanted to go, they wanted to, you know, grab their little bikes and ride around. And just magically this guy's dog just happened to get out and it was just chasing my nieces. Now I just walked in the house, literally after they got their bikes, I, I walked in the house to get a chair. And the minute I get the chair and I get to the side, get out of the garage, what do I see? Less than 20, 30 seconds. And then he tries to come over. He got nervous, cause see the dog wasn't gonna do nothing cause the dog pumped out. But I could see it in his face when he came out, but he knew it, it was about to go left. So so we playing, we, we playing around outside a few days ago, but there's a little black boy, he's a da from down the street, so he's, you know, this kid's probably about five, if that. You know what I'm saying? You know, little, little kid. So he's playing, he runs to the mailbox, he's sitting around, so the guy's house is on the corner. So he comes out of his house, basically, you know, act like he, he wanna do something to the little kid. Like, oh, he's terrified about the little kid. And he's protecting his property. But at the same time, I'm across, I'm across the street, you know, just throwing a football with my son. And I'm paying attention to the little kid too to make sure ain't nothing wrong with him. You know, ain't nothing happening to him. So the guy comes out, he tries to make, make his little once over, but then he sees me, eyeball him like I because particular we've already had this discussion, you know, that like, dude, if you do do one more stupid thing, I'm gonna wear you out. Like that's that's just what it is. So, you know, but don't get it twisted, this happens grocery store, you know, gym, uh, you know, just walking, <laughs> you, know you know, park, you, you get it all the time. You see the people's looks, and it's usually grown men. And the thing about it is that people, you know, I don't know if y'all, I don't see, I don't think you mothers catch on to this as well as the fathers do. And a lot of the, these non-black men who are so big on manhood and respect, this is why, you, you know, that fear of, of, of black men, this is how it starts because 
this is, you can see it in their face. This is their opportunity to take their shot while they can. You can see it in their eyes. Like, if I, I, I got to get him before he get grown, because then he going to be a man, and he going to be as strong and fast, and I can't handle that. And, you know, I'm 37, and he 12, you know, he 13 or 14 or something. I can, I think I can get, I can take, you can see it. You can see the plot. And it's like, all right, bro, go for it. And I'm one of those parents, like, you know, something happened to my kid, and I'm just going, your whole household finna just catch it. Goldfish, pet cricket, everybody gonna catch it. Um, it's not even, it's not even, it, I'm like, hey, bro, <laughs> you, you might as well, you might as well just kiss everybody goodnight. But we see it, you know, in um, restaurants, you know, you go to restaurants, you can see people staring, you know, when your kids go into the bathroom. And I remember this vividly more so when my son was was younger because I remember taking him to the movies and uh, he wanted to use the bathroom yeah, maybe like 10, 11, something like that but I just had this inclination to wait and I go, you know, he goes to the bathroom and he, you know, kid go to the bathroom by himself and then I wait wait about a minute and then I walk into the bathroom at the movies. And what do I see? You know, white guy, sketchy, looking like he about to try to take his opportunity. And then he gets spooked because he see me. My son didn't know nothing about it because my son's like, you know, he's just using the bathroom. But this guy, he's like... And then I come in like, yeah, let's go. Let's do this. You ain't going to make it out of this bathroom. And you can see it in their eyes. And then he punk out. And all this manhood, masculinity, and, you know, be respect, and this, that, and the third. This is why it doesn't exist. Because a lot of you guys, you know, white, Hispanic, Asian, Arab, y'all, y'all, this is y'all regular norm. Y'all regular norm that y'all really trying to trying to figure out a way to to to, to dismantle a, a teenage boy or a, a a kid because they're black like y'all y'all disgusting but y'all cross that line if you want to the police ain't gonna save you see that and that's what the, the mothers need to know about more so than the this is part of the reason that why they don't want the families together. Because that'll be a problem for them. Y'all don't see this, so they always passively aggressive, passively, passively aggressively, you know, undermining and destroying your kids, and you can't see it because y'all on that. Oh, them good white folks, them good Hispanics, them good people. Y'all, y'all pull that stunt. So they smile in your face, and you can't even see it in their eyes. But like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Peace.